And welcome to the broadcast. My name is Larinac showing you a Protoss versus Protoss matchup. Here, right over here, we've got Gray Fox, and right next door, we have Lentimic. G -g 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 Good luck, he says. Let's see. Oh, that noise could only mean that Gray Fox approves and says with the Asian happy face, okay. Don't know really what that means for Lantamic, but we're going to speed things up a little bit here. And we can see the APM on Lantamic has the advantage early on, nearing right around 40, but this is not a professional game. We are just simply checking this out because of the mere fact that there is some interesting gameplay that's out of the norm. Pylon going down early for Lantamic right at the start of the base, just to make sure he sees and they shake hands as they part ways. Gray Fox is going to zoom in here, say nothing of interest, and right back out. Lantimic cruising right along, sees that Gateway is going to go down, probably on his way out, comes in, sees also nothing to report back home about. So as he leaves, we see not necessarily proxying, but a little bit outside of his base, Gray Fox setting up shop. And we look at the unit's uh, produced tab, we've got pretty standard things going down, both putting down reactors almost, I would say, probably... At the same time, Lantimic going over here, throwing down a pylon in the corner just to make sure he has some area around there to check the game out as, well, let's see here, looks like we finished up one gateway, the cybernetics core is going right away, we could see something a little bit different, but as of right now, it looks like a standard build from both, um, with the exception of this building outside here, Gray Fox really wanted to make sure he sees things before they happen, but that is a very vulnerable spot, so he may want to keep an eye on that. Uh, or see what happens there if Lantamic comes out early with some trouble a brewing. Speaking of brewing, we've got a forge going down right away. A little bit of defensive gameplay perhaps by Lantamic. We could be seeing some cannons and there's a pylon. We've got a zealot there. And what is this? An early stargate by Lantamic in the upper left corner there. Hidden. Perfect placement by him. Going to be seeing maybe some interesting uh, Void Ray Harass or something of the sort, but nonetheless, we're going back, and we're seeing a lot of things being thrown down now by both players. Of course, we are getting to that point in the game, so we're going to slow things down for just a second just to analyze what's going on. We've got a pylon going on, of course. You need more pylons always, and a gateway. So, well, nothing too crazy here by Gray Fox, perhaps just a four-gate build in the works. we got a couple stalkers just chilling right here. And going back to Lantamic, we got some zealots. We've got a photon cannon that did, in fact, go up because of that forge. And uh, kind of a defensive gameplay. So we're going to see, what is this? A fleet beacon has just finished for Lantamic. OMG. We all know what that means then. When minerals allow, he is probably going to go mothership ASAP. The only thing about this build that maybe could be critiqued just a little bit is it's a little vulnerable. But even so, we've got the overseer up there. Could throw down a... Or the sentry, excuse me, can throw down some uh, some shields to maybe buy a little time to get, warp in some more units if that is the case. But instead, we're going to see Lance McStopic stocking up on minerals and, of course, Vest being gas as he is going to be looking mothership. And it's just a matter of time. And right there, bam, right on the money, going to finish up this probe and mothership will be going down. Wow. Wow. At 50 food, there's still no attack coming in. You know, I think this army is a little lacking, actually, by Gray Fox. Looking at the timing, he should really have, at least, you know, if he was going to keep up with his game plan, maybe check it out. And finally, it looks like he's gathering his army up, might be just pushing, um, or might just be hanging out, I guess. So we'll see. But um, as far as things going down, of course, Lantamic's mothership about halfway, three quarters, two thirds done, I should say. We've got some more immortal. Finally, it looks like Gray Fox says we got to get a move on, get out of here and see what is going down in the land of Lantamic because it's a very good question seeing as though neither player have any expansions. Not that Lantamic knows that, but now Gray Fox does. He's got to say, hey, what the hell? Where's, where, are all the, where are all the units? What's going on? And here it comes. The sentries are going to throw down their shields. Great shield by Lantamic place. And we got some zealot action. We've got some great stalker versus stalker. Some immortals in there throw, throwing the mix off maybe just a little bit, but guess what? Guess what just finished right there, buddy? The mothership. And let's see. Did it pick up some friends with it? We're going to follow this baby. We'll see where it's going. Lantamic, of course, knows that. Gray Fox is right there. He's just going to chill with that mothership for a little bit. Keep that army up there to see what is going on as far as the counterattack goes with Gray Fox. And let's see. Let us see. We still got these stalkers all here. Lantamic warping in a bunch of units. We've got more immortals coming. And finally, that expansion going down over here by Gray Fox. About, uh, about time, but I did say it's a little bit too late because boom! Here it comes, baby. The ultimate attack 
bunch of stalkers coming in and they are going to take out this main in no time because you know what it's kind of hard to attack something when you cannot see it and you can't see me is the moral of the story right now little wwe a little action here john cena almost asked he's laying the smack down here he comes lantimic taking out pylons like no other and what don't even try it don't even try it because right now when there's that mothership out there and oh it's looking like it's going to be a tough one for the uh rest of gray fox's life but he has found some life and he's going to try and harbor everything over here see how long it takes lantimic to find it but you know what with an army like that uh it's not looking too great right now so we're going to speed things right along see what happens in case something does in fact counter but lantimic comes in and he's going to crash the party Oh, and all of the probes. I don't think a single one of them is going to survive. Here comes Lantimic across the board, and it's still no GG, but we're going to cruise across and find what this army has to offer. Remember, it's going to be kind of hard to take out what you cannot see, which is everything right now as far as Lantimic is concerned. So there goes Gray Fox, every unit, finally the GG, and that is the moral of the story, folks. What a great game. Great example of how you can get that mothership out there by Lantimic and take advantage of your situation. Luckily, there wasn't an early rush. Maybe that could have disrupted some things for Lantimic, but overall, very well played. Great use of the mothership. Right at 50 food, that baby was out of the door and ready to go, and he was cooking along with a great size army along with... So again, my name is Larenek. Thanks for joining me for this analysis of the mothership rush here in StarCraft II.